welcome to another Canada Mentions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse, and in this tip we're going to be talking about knurling. Knurling is a sport played on ice in which the participants... No wait, that's not right. Knurling is a texture typically applied to round parts for added grip. I create knurling in SolidWorks using four basic methods. One is a swept helix. This is a good approximation of how a knurl will be produced in the real world. The other three are approximations that we can use to lighten the model. If we don't really need the full texture, for example, if it's not going to be machined off of the model, we can use a revolved approximation, something like similar techniques you may have seen for threads, or we have two texture options. So let's take a look. In my first model, we see that I have created this using a swept cut. Now we can see I have a very slight helical shape to this. If you look down the side, so this is a full helical swept neural. This is a great way to produce neurals, however, it is not particularly light. For example, if we take a look at our feature statistics, we can see that the total rebuild time for this part is very high, at least for a part of this simplicity. Let's take a look at how this model was created. I started with a revolve, add in planes and a chamfer, again using a swept cut. That swept cut was mirrored and patterned. Another option is to approximate this with revolves. Now again, this technique is used a lot in the approximation of threads. Here we see a similar appearing result, though we can tell it's slightly straighter. Now in this model, I've started in the same fashion, but instead of sweeping, I've done an extrude cut, which was patterned, as well as a revolve cut, which was also patterned. Now this gives the appearance that the part is knurled, however this is quite a bit lighter. Again moving to feature statistics we can see that we have a significantly lower total rebuild time. Now what if we don't need the knurls in the model at all, we just need to give the appearance that this part will be knurled. That's a great solution and this is often my preferred solution. Let's take a look at this. Here we see I have a part that appears to be knurled, but if we look in the tree, we see no features for it. This technique is done by creating an appearance with a surface finish. If we move to our display manager, we can see I have two appearances applied. One for the metal, and this one on a face. Let's take a look at how this is added. I'm going to remove this appearance, and we'll re-add it. What we need to do is apply an appearance to this face. My preferred method for doing that is selecting the face, and selecting an appearance for that face. Once in the appearance dialog, we can choose advanced, and from advanced, we're looking for the surface finish tab. For surface finish, instead of using color, I will switch this to knurled. Now you can see there are several other types of surface finish that we can add for any given surface. In this case, we're looking for knurled, so I will select knurled. We now have the opportunity to scale this. As you can see, it's far too large for my face. We'll scale this down to an appropriate size, and we'll click OK. From here, we have knurling applied that appears to be knurled, but again is very light. If we check our feature statistics on this one, we see essentially no rebuild time at all. Now we can match this a little bit closer. Let's go back and edit our appearance and we'll change the color to something a little bit closer to what we're seeing on our other material. This works well as a visual property. It can also be rendered. I'll turn on my add-in for PhotoView 360. And we'll take a look at the render tools. Here
Here we can see the knurling will work into the rendering, but we have further controls. Let's edit our appearance once again. Come back to the surface tab. And now with our photo view add-in turned on, we see I have additional options. I'll turn on displacement mapping and say OK. Now when this renders, it will give the appearance that it actually has depth. So whatever you need, there's a knurling option for you. Thanks for watching this tech tip, and we hope to see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.